From Mabuja to Lagos, Sokoto to Port Harcourt, Enugu to Ilori. All across Nigeria, we bring you news and information that will make your day. We are new. We are news. We are 24 News TV. Good evening and thanks for joining us. This is 24 News TV. I am Ogani Victor. Former Vice President Atiku Abubakar has said, contrary to the belief in some quarters, Nigeria's unity is negotiable. He has meant that a marriage cannot be declared as non-negotiable when one party is doing everything to sow seeds of discord within the same union. Atiku said these are the national dialogue and public presentation of a book titled Remaking Nigeria, 60 Years, 60 Voices in Abuja on Thursday. The president described as amusing a situation where people declare Nigeria's unity as fixed and non-negotiable while doing everything in their power to destroy that fragile unity. He further stated that nothing in the relationships among people is fixed for eternity. Atiku also accused the government at the federal level as not doing enough in terms of nation building. Aviation unions have been raising dust on the federal government's plan to concession Nigeria's four major airports in Lagos, Abuja, Kanu, and Port Harcourt. The plan has also created a division among airport workers as those in private aviation companies were in support of concession while their counterparts in the public service opposed the plan. It was learned recently that the federal government had officially commenced the search for concessionaires to manage Nigeria's four major airports. This was made public through the Federal Ministry of Aviation in its request for pre-qualification for the concession of four international airport terminals and related services. The Secretary General, National Union of Air Transport Employees, or Cheme Abba, in a statement said the move would not succeed as there were so much legal tussle and other baggage around the operations of the four airports. Abba noted that the valuation of workers of Federal Airport Authority of Nigeria was not captured in the business case for the concession of the airports. The Economic and Financial Crimes Commission, EFCC, has arrested a former governor of Abia State, Theodore Oje, and his son. The ex-governor, who had for long been on the commission's watch list, was intercepted at Inamdi International Airport, Abuja, at about 10 a.m. on Thursday and driven to the headquarters of the EFCC in Abuja. He is currently being quizzed alongside his son, Chinedu, the current speaker of the Abia State House of Assembly who turned himself in on Thursday afternoon upon learning of the arrest of his father. They are both being detained over alleged fraud of over 500 billion naira. Oji, a current senator, and his son, Chinedu and Ogunna, have for months been under EFCC investigation for alleged misappropriation of public funds and money laundering. The ex-governor is alleged to have received 500 million naira monthly as security vote for eight years as governor of Abia State between 2007 and 2015. The EFCC had in February 2020 interrogated Oji and his son over allegations that they diverted 521 billion naira public funds. The investigation followed a petition dated March 17, 2017, filed by a group called Fight Corruption Save Nigeria Group. The ESCC spokesperson Wilson confirmed the detention of the former governor and his speaker's son. To election matters now, the Independent National Electoral Commission, INEC, yesterday listed Chukuma Soludo as All Progressives Grand Alliance APCA candidate for the November 6th Anambara governorship ballot. This was despite the ruling of an Uweri High Court same day, striking out a suit filed by the embattled former national chairman of Abga, Victor Uye, seeking to remove Chukuma Umoji as the party's candidate for the election. The Uweri court had also dismissed Uye's plea to mandate INEC to delist Umeoji's name from its published document and replace him with that of Soludo. Delivering the judgment yesterday, Justice Victoria Isigozo equally in insisted that the court's earlier judgment that declared OKK as national chairman of Abga remains valid. The judge, however, granted Oye leave to appeal against the judgment but refused his prayer for stay of execution of the judgment. Meanwhile, the National Working Committee of Abga has commended INEC for publishing the names of Soludu and Dr. Onye Kachuku 
Ibezim as the party's governorship and deputy governorship candidate, respectively. In a statement issued in Abuja by its National Publicity Secretary, Mr. Tex Okechuku Apka expressed joy that after several weeks of suspense and confusion, INEC had brought about the much needed respite by obeying the Kano Court of Appeal judgments. We are going on a quick break now. When we return, the news continues. Stay with us. From Abuja to Lagos, Sokoto to Port Harcourt, Enugu to Ilori. All across Nigeria, we bring you news and information that will make your day. We are new. We are news. We are 24 News TV. Glad to know that you are still with us. Now to the rest of the news. In an effort to contribute to the well-being of the citizens, the Nigerian army has again carried out free medical outreach in the three senatorial district of Ogo State. The gallant uniformed men during the program also deemed it necessary to sensitize the people on the need to be security conscious and secure their homes. The difference between a driver and a good driver. A good driver is somebody that drives from point A to point B safely. Why other driver is somebody that does drive from point A to point B? We as parents have to look for a way to make sure we still spend time with our children while they are growing up in their formative age and build values in them. Train up a child in the way he should go. And trust me, when he is old, he won't depart from it. Nigerian Security and Civil Defense Corps is a grassroots network organization because we are available in all the 77, 774 local government in Nigeria. This will increase the number of youths without jobs to involve in crimes such as cultism, kidnapping, amongst other sundry crimes. Brigadier General Adiwale Adikoi, who is the head of the 35 Artillery Brigade, Alamala Biokuta, participated in the program. Addressing newsmen in Abeokuta, Brigadier General Adi Koya said the Nigeria Army is in the vanguard of entrenching human rights in the country. Ensure that our military understands human rights. For instance, we understand various uh, Geneva rules of convention of war. We understand uh, international uh, human uh, laws to, to guide our various operations. So in this, we are able to ensure that the, in carrying out our various operations, we use what we call principle of minimum force in our various internal security operations. Because they are our populace anyway. So it's not like you are fighting your own. No, we are only making sure that there is rule of law, there is law and order in the state and in the country. Elsewhere, the United States has evacuated about 3,000 more people from Afghanistan's Kabul airport, according to a White House official, bringing the U.S. evacuation tally to about 9,000 since August 14. Meanwhile, a United Nations threat assessment report says Taliban fighters are conducting targeted door-to-door -door visit of people who worked with the U.S. and NATO forces, increasing the fear of revenge. Reports say the Taliban has closed off the road leading to the airport as a way to try to restrict the flow of people there as the evacuation flight by the U.S. military continues. A situation that has made getting to the Kabul airport for evacuation flight become even harder. Meanwhile, rights group Amnesty International has published a report accusing the Taliban of killing nine ethnic Hazara men in Ghazni after the group's takeover of the province last month. And now to entertainment matters. Bichi, one of Kano's Emirates, will be agog today, Friday, and Saturday with dignitaries from across the world as Yusuf, the son of President Muhammad Buhari, will be joined in holy matrimony with Zara, daughter of Emir of Bichi, Nasir Ado Bayaro. 27-year-old Yusuf, a graduate of the University of Shori, Guilford, United Kingdom, is the only male child of Buhari and first son of the president's second wife, Aisha Buhari. Zara, 19-year-old, is the daughter of Emir of Bichi Alhaji Nasir Ado Bayaru, who is the fourth child of late Emir of Kanu Alhaji Ado Bayaru. Aside the wedding, Ado Bayaru will be coronated as the new Emir of Bichi 
barely a month after his elder brother, the Emir of Kanu, Aminu Ado Bayaro, was presented with the staff of office. The Emir would be presented with the staff of office by the governor of Kanu State, Abdullahi Ganduji, on Saturday. Still on celebration, prominent Nigerians gathered at the residence of barrister Ade Kingsley Ogumiloye to felicitate with him on his birthday. A legal luminary and a one-time senatorial aspirant and a current secretary advisory committee to the Minister of State Federal Capital Territory, Barrister Kingsley, a recipient of many awards for his distinguished personality in many areas, is described by many as a jolly good fellow, a lover of mankind and a philanthropist to the core. He's an effervescent person, he's an ebullient person, but he's somebody that uh, you can almost bank on as a friend. He's proved himself to be a very good friend, you know, at different times. If you're looking for a jolly good fellow, you find one in him. So it, it gives me a great delight to be here today. And um, I think it's some guy that you almost feel that you owe him one. <laughs> Everybody will feel that you owe him one. Barry Sade is a good friend, he's a brother, and a jolly good fellow. He's an enigma. He's a great man. He's a man with big heart. Very, very accommodating, very humble, humble, and open to everybody. Family-oriented person, warm, heavy receptive, kind, giving, loving and accommodating. He's my childhood friend. We grew together. Is that a wonderful human being who will be ready to go extra mile for his friend? for his people, and for whatever he believes in. So it's a, it's, it's, it's a go-getter. The management and staff of 24 News TV wish to felicitate and congratulate Barrister Adi Kingsley for this um, celebration, and this is to wish him more fruitful years ahead. Down to sport, following an intensive inspection of the Cotton Ridge and coastal city of Gora, German coach Gunnar Roh has affirmed that the capital of the north region of Cameroon will be ideal for the Super Regals campaign at the forthcoming delayed 2021 Africa Cup of Nations AFCON. The Super Regals were handed a seemingly tough draw on Tuesday with a record seven-time champions Egypt as well as Sudan and Guinea-Bissau with their base in Gurua, the city reportedly established by the Fulani Emir Modibu Adama in the first half of the 19th century. After the draw on Tuesday, Ro was in Gurua on Wednesday on a fact-finding mission in his usual Teutonic style and devotion to details ahead of international tournaments and matches. And that's the news tonight. For more information and breaking stories, link with us on our website www.24newstv.com.ng and on our social media handles 24 News TV Nigeria. I am Organic Victor. Thanks for watching and bye for now.